Okay, so let us uh, start looking at the notion of a metric space. So, X a non empty set. and d is a function on x cross x to non negative real numbers. So, x y goes to d x y with the following properties 1 the distance we call it as the d as the distance is always bigger than or equal to 0 equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y distance between x and y is same as the distance between y and x and the third property the distance between x y is less than the distance between x z plus distance between z y for all x y and z belonging to x. So, this is symmetric and this is triangle inequality. So, essentially this is uh, modeled on, uh, so uh, let us look at examples. The motivating example was that x is the real line and d x y is mod of x minus y. So, the idea was that this uh, notion of distance gives you the idea of saying something is close to two points or close to each other and gave us uh, many uh, concepts on real life. So, let us look at uh, some more. For example, let x be any non empty set and define d on x cross x to. So, let us define d x y is equal to, it is to be 0 anyway when x is equal to y, and let us put it equal to 1 if x is not equal to y. So, distance between any two points is defined to be 0 if of, of course, x is equal to y and two distinct points the distance is defined to be equal to 1. Okay. So, uh, easy to check that obviously, it is symmetric non negative 0 if and only if x is equal to y and d x y is less than or equal to the triangle inequality is again obvious because the right hand side could be either 0 or uh, bigger than 1. So, obviously, it is a metric. So, any set has got this kind of a metric called discrete metric. So, this is called a discrete metric on any uh, set, not very, not very interesting, but uh, in some way. Okay, let us look at some more. We had, uh, let us take x is equal to R2. And let us take a point x y belonging to R2. In the real line, we had the notion of absolute value of a number, right, and that was the distance of the point from 0. So, in R2, let us introduce that. So, the distance of the point x, y, okay, from 0. So, let us, uh, so that is x square plus y square called
the norm of the vector with components x, y. We would like to check that uh, this, uh, this has properties. similar to that of absolute value function in R. So, meaning what? 1, the norm of, so we will be using underline uh, x as for the vector. Uh, with components x and y is bigger than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 if and only if the vector x is the 0 vector. Right? Let us look at uh, the second one that says that if I multiply a vector by alpha, then this is mod alpha times absolute value. Absolute value of A B is equal to absolute value A into absolute value B. And the third property namely x plus y is less than plus the triangle inequality property for all x y belonging to R 2. One way of uh, looking at uh, that would be that actually if you look at a triangle in R 2 with sides x and y, then uh, the hypotenuse right, the length is less than or equal to or triangle inequality any two sides, the sum of any two sides is bigger than. We will just try to prove it analytically. I would like to prove this that for any two vectors this is so. Let us uh, uh, try to introduce something uh, which is interesting uh, in its own respect. So, what is called uh, the dot product in R 2. So, given uh, x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 belonging to R 2 one defines the dot product. So, of this x 1 y 1 product x 2 y 2 to be equal to sigma x 1 x 2 plus y 1 y 2 y equal to 1 to 2. In fact, uh, uh, it will be a good idea to prove it for all not only R 2. Let us uh, prove it for R n, okay, but anyway I will we'll do it a bit later probably. So, this is called the dot product in uh, R 2, right. What is the, uh, why we want to define that? So, the dot product, uh, okay. So, if I look at dot product of x dot x itself that is x 1 y 1 dot product with x 1 y 1 that is sigma x i square i equal to 1 to 2 and that is norm of x square. Right? So, that is the most interesting thing that happens uh, it relates the dot product with the notion of uh, magnitude or absolute value of a vector. Uh, I have written x i, uh, okay, so let me, mod, because I have used a different notation here, so let me write that, because components are, so it is x 1 square plus y 1 square, so that is equal to norm x square, right, where x has components x 1 and y 1, okay. So, this dot product is related with the distance in this following way, right. It also has uh, interesting properties. So, let me uh, write some properties of dot power. Let 
let me write the dot product as a function. So, consider the function r 2 cross r 2 to r. So, how is it defined? It is a dot product. I am just using a different notation so that things become very clear. So, for a vector x and a vector y, okay, it is the dot product of x with y for every x y belonging to R 2. For any two vectors x and y, okay, the dot product is uh, the, this notation I am using. So, with this notation it is called the inner product. Dot product is also called inner product, it is the product of a vector with itself. right? So, uh, why we are uh, doing this? The reason is the following. So, you can treat it as a function of two variables okay, x and y, x belongs to R 2, y belonging to R 2. So, the properties are 1 is always bigger than or equal to 0, equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0. right? That is obvious that we have already seen that or anyway because it is sigma x i square. So, that is 0 means each component must be equal to 0. And second, let us take uh, uh, two vectors x and y. So, let us take vectors x, y and z belonging to R 2 and let us look at uh, add the vectors uh, x plus y comma z. So, what is that equal to? Okay. So, that will be uh, components of this will be sigma uh, x i plus y i and uh, comma that will be z i. So, product product distributes over addition. So, this is same as x comma z plus y comma z. Right. So, uh, saying uh, in the first component if I add and take the dot product is same as the sum of the dot products and third property uh, in fact, I can write here uh, say alpha x z is same as alpha times x z. If you multiply scalar comes out in the dot product because sigma x i so alpha will come out from the sum. Fourth property x y is same as y x, it is symmetric right. Dot product of x with y is same as dot product of y with x and fourth and fifth. Similarly, uh, this combined with the second combined with this one will give you that x comma y plus z is same as x plus y sorry uh, x comma y plus x comma z. So, essentially what we are saying is positive definite the first property it is linear in the first variable as well as in the second variable and it is symmetric okay? linearity because of alpha also comes out. So, it is a linear thing. Uh, okay, we will come to the generalizations a bit later. So, let us say it has obviously these properties. So, proofs are obvious right? or uh, easy to verify just ordinary algebra. right? And of course, uh, we had that uh, fact namely uh, x dot x is equal to norm of x square. Right. What we want to do is prove a property of this which is very important called Cauchy Schwarz inequality. So, what does it say? It says if I take vectors x and y belonging to R 2 
and I look at the dot product of x y that is a real number take its absolute value that is always less than or equal to norm of x square into norm of y square. Right. There are many ways of proving it. Let us look at uh, a way which we generalize it to everything. So, let us uh, prove of this. Look at x plus y, x plus y, the vector x plus y, x plus y, and look at the norm square of that. That is always bigger than or equal to 0. Let us write this in terms of the dot product. So, this is x plus y, x plus y, norm square is equal to the dot product of the vector with itself. So, let us expand it using linearity. Okay. So, that is x comma x plus y comma x plus x comma y plus uh, y comma y. So, that is equal to norm of x square plus norm of y square plus 2 times norm x norm y uh, 2 times x y right. Okay, uh, that will not uh, lead it to is bigger than or equal to 0. Yeah, I think this let us just keep it as 1. This will not uh, give us the required thing. Let me just uh, look at uh, Okay. All right. So one way of uh, this won't lead to the proof, but just keep it as it is. Uh, there is one obvious way of looking at it, but that requires a knowledge of saying that the dot product a and b is norm a norm b into cos theta. But how does that formula come? Okay. So, uh, I was just debating about that whether I should, yeah, this is another way of, let us just look at this uh, proof. One can use calculus also, we will do the calculus proof la later. So, we want to prove this uh, inequality that the dot product less than or equal to norm u norm v. Obviously, if either u or v is 0, then both sides are 0, right. So, no problem. So, let us assume both of them are not 0 and divide u by norm of u. Right? So, define a new vector called u dash and v dash. u dash is u divided by norm u because it is not 0, I can divide by it. So, what will be the norm of uh, u dash? That is 1 now. Norm of v dash also is equal to 1. Okay? So, let us look at uh, this uh, term u dash minus the dot product v dash with itself. Okay. So, that is the vector we should look at. So, let me, uh, are you able to follow from here or shall I write it up? Okay. So, let, let me write probably. So, we had uh, what we had written x and y. So, let us keep it x and y. x and y are vectors. So, we want to prove norm of is less than or equal to norm x norm y. Right. So, let us, uh, so if x is equal to 0 or y equal to 0, then left hand side is equal to 0 equal to right hand side. So, no problem. So, let x not equal to 0, y not equal to 0. Consider
So, this is what this is the key thing. Uh, okay. So, let us write x minus x y y and product with itself. So, x minus x y with y. So, what is this quantity? On one hand, this is equal to norm of x minus x y times y square, right? Norm of that square. Same vector with dot product with itself, which is bigger than or equal to 0. On the other hand, let us expand this. What is it equal to? So, this is x comma x first term uh, minus x comma x y y right then so it will be two times right x x first term and then uh, x with this one what I am doing x with itself and then x comma minus yeah so that we have taken so this one uh, so that minus sign so minus x y y x plus algebra. So, last term will be minus minus plus. So, x So, fourth term will be minus minus plus. So, x y y comma x y y. Right, we will have four terms. First term x with itself that is x comma x dot product. Second term will be uh, we have taken uh, x with the second term here. So, that will be x comma this with a negative sign, negative alpha comes out and next will be minus of that thing with respect to is that okay? So, minus x y y that is x okay, and this thing. So, that is equal to norm of x square minus 2 times. So, this is 2 times x. So, x y okay. So, let me write x y and y. So, these two this term and this term together. So, minus 2 plus so, this is uh, norm of x y y square. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, this is uh, now, scalar comes out. So, norm of x square minus 2 times x y okay. and this is another scalar. So, that is uh, into x y 1 scalar comes out and the same thing plus x y square norm of y square. Right. The scalar comes out x y square and norm of y square. Fine. This is also same quantity. So let us write it x square minus the twice of that same quant uh, if so let us write if norm x is equal to 1 is equal to norm y then 
what do we get in case? So, that is what we are looking at 1 minus. So, this will be uh, x y right. So, x y x y square. So, you can write square plus uh, yeah that is all. No? Okay. Let us go back and <laughs> see what we are writing is. So, I am looking at this vector x minus dot product of x with y times y. This is a scalar, right? This dot this is a scalar, scalar times y. So, I am looking at a x minus a scalar times y norm of that. So, that is bigger than or equal to 0. So, that will be equal to dot product of this vector with itself. Okay? Now, open this, this is this minus this plus the dot product of this minus this. So, linearity that will give you 4 terms. So, what will be the first term? dot product of x with itself. So, that is the first term here. Second term will be dot product of okay, x with the negative of this thing. So, that negative sign I have taken it out. So, dot product of x with that vector. Other will be the switched over negative sign. right? So, two cross product, uh, two cross terms and then uh, the last one will be the, the dot product of this vector with itself. So, this vector with itself, four terms. right? Now, let us simplify. The first one is norm of x square. Okay. This term is same as this because of symmetry okay. and this scalar comes out. So, it is 2 times norm x norm, uh, dot product of x y with y and y. So, that is these two terms are combined together to give you this uh, 2 times that and the last one is the dot uh, scale, uh, norm of dot product x y y. Okay. Let us simplify that a bit further. So, this scalar comes out as square norm of y square. So, this is this term and now let us assume norm x is equal to 1, norm y equal to 1. So, what do you get? So, this quantity is 1, this is 2 times and this is 1 here. So, it is only minus 1 times this is okay. So, what does and this is bigger than or equal to 0. So, that is what we said this is bigger than or equal to 0. So, implies that norm of x y sorry x y square is less than or equal to 1. Okay? And what is 1? You can write as norm of x norm of y because norm x we assume to be 1. So, what we are saying is this proof works very well when norm x is equal to 1, norm y equal to 1. If not, then what you will do? We have already seen if not, you can divide x by norm x, y by norm y. So, will x by, so if x y not equal to 0, the same thing will give you norm x over norm x y over norm y right now both are of norm 1 so if i take dot product this will be less than norm x over uh, is less than or equal to 1 right and that means dot product of xy is less than or equal to norm of x into norm of y okay that is all. So, basically the idea is uh, take that linear combination namely and expand it one side it is bigger than or equal to 0 other side by using the property of the dot product. Okay. So, this gives, this proves cauchy schwarz inequality. So, what I wanted to do was using that. So, this is not required in cauchy schwarz inequality. So, let me remove from here. So, let us remove it from here, Cauchy Schwarz we have proved. So, let us uh, prove now what is uh, the property that norm of x plus y 
is less than or equal to norm x plus norm y for every x y belonging to R 2. So, proof uh, that is what uh, the other thing we should be looking at. Okay. So, we are trying to prove that the norm of x plus y is less than or equal to norm x plus norm y. So, let us compute it, right. Norm square is the dot product with itself and that is equal to this, right. We are computing the norm of x plus y, right. So, write it as a dot product, expand, so you get this. And now the idea is this is less than or equal to norm of x square plus norm of y square mod of right 2 times inner product. So, that is less than or equal to 2 times norm x norm y by Cauchy Schwarz inequality. So, that is a crucial thing here that Cauchy Schwarz inequality gives you and this is nothing but norm of x plus uh, norm of y whole square, right. So, that implies that norm of x plus norm of y is less than norm x plus norm y. So, uh, finally, what we are saying is uh, that norm or the magnitude in R 2 also has the property similar to that of uh, absolute value function. <laughs>